Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome or welcome back to Stars of Light and Oracle YouTube channel. Lucky Stars Community. Cat Star here with you all mid-October 2024 reading. As a reminder, my readings are for entertainment and are general in nature. They may or may not resonate for everybody, so please do take what is for you and leave what isn't for those of you liking and sharing the videos. Thank you so, so much. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. I also want to give a huge shout out to all of the new and returning viewers and subscribers and to the channel members. Thank you all so, so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. All right mid-october already you guys this uh, year has just been flying by i guess they do um tend to do that wow i hope things have been going amazing for you and or the challenges that have been coming up have been ones that you are able to see and rise above see the lesson see the learning see the experience within it and rise above Sometimes it can be easier said than done, <laughs> right? Sometimes right in the minute, you're like, yeah, man, or at least I know I am. So let's go ahead and jump in. We're going to see the overall energy for the rest of October. Lion, higher calling, okay? Ooh, that's a little low. These cards are big. Let's see if I can do that a little bit okay bigger cards make it harder to fit it in the little screen here it says you have within you all the courage you need yes to rise above right or to come out of those challenges stronger smarter okay uh, let go of the past and reclaim your majesty you will find success and contentment with those by your side. Make noble choices for your life and your tribe, okay? So for some of you, there's going to be a big choice or decision coming up. You're also being reminded that the people you surround yourself with are very important, okay? For the rest of October and moving forward. Use your discernment. Make decisions wisely, okay? Are you hanging around people who are... Um, come constant complainers, but also pay attention to yourself and how are you showing up as, as a friend, okay? How are you showing up is, is what spirit keeps coming through. Your higher calling is asking you, Aquarius, the rest of October here to really pay attention to how you're showing up. This is that higher message or that higher calling coming through, that lion, that big roar, right? How are you showing up? Are you showing up? Um, in a way that is supportive, that is loving, that is uh, within this energy of raising or, or um, lifting other people up, or is it the opposite? Pay attention to that, okay? Reclaim your majesty this month as well. Some of you have um, potentially been down on yourself or down on others. It's time to really see um, and allow yourself to reclaim that energy of um, your higher self, your best self, because you are amazing. Yes, life happens. Yes, stuff happens. Yes, we have ups, we have downs, we have a past, we have uh, mistakes we've made, we have learnings that we've had, all of that. But if we continue to allow it to hold us down or keep us back or hold us in the past in one way or another that is going to continue to um, keep us in those wounds, if that makes sense. And, and it's difficult to move forward when we stay in those places. So for the rest of the month, you are being reminded, Aquarius, uh, to really pay attention to how you're showing up, but also pay attention to the people that you are choosing. There's a lot here, right? So what sticks out to you is the most important for you, but Spirit's indicating that you are going to find success within the rest of the month. And there is going to, going to be a feeling of peace, of contentment, of joy, of harmony, of fulfillment uh, with those by your side. This could be your friends. This could be your partner romantically or platonically or business, your family, however this shows up for you, but make sure that you're noticing the people that are by your side as well and if they're rooting you on and also if you're rooting them on it's it's a two-way street here Aquarius okay it's a two-way street so that's what we have for the rest of for the overall energy for the rest of the month what do we need to surrender 
surrender to a prayer. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Okay. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arrive. Okay. Sometimes we pray in a way, of course, that, um, that doesn't make us feel better. So also uh, pay attention to the way that you pray. Are you praying? Um, and, and there's no right or wrong, but is it is it feeling uplifting to you? Is it feeling um, supportive to you? Is it feeling as if you are really connecting to the divine and, and um, feeling nurtured and feeling joyful and graceful within it? Or is it feeling as if you, uh, and, and we all do this, so this is no, no shade, no blame, no, no, nothing like that, but just, uh, spirits asking you to pay attention to how, or, or is it always how much you need or how much spirit's not showing up for you, that kind of stuff. Um, pay attention to that over the rest of October as well and surrender to a prayer that feels uplifting, that feels positive, that feels joyful. It doesn't always have to be that way, but when we are coming from a space of need or um, like almost like pointing fingers at spirit where you're not showing up, why aren't you helping me? Why aren't you this? Why aren't you that? Instead of like asking for support, asking for guidance, asking for the answers in a way that is going to be solution-based, right? Um, instead of wanting spirit to do all of the work, showing up and doing half or showing up halfway, if that makes sense, is going to be much more beneficial. So surrender to prayer, ask spirit, have a communication, have a conversation, right? Um, uh, what's the Neil Donald Walsh? I think that's his name. Conversations with God. Those books are eye opening. Okay. If you haven't checked out those books and, the, and of course they're not for everybody, but some of them, um, ha really, really, I was in awe within that. Okay. So that may be something for you to, uh, check out if you haven't already. And again, they're not for everybody, but there were certain phrases, um, and certain points in the book where when I was having a difficult time, uh, really opened my eyes and it might do the same for you. Okay. And maybe not. It's really, uh, just something that's coming through within this for you. Okay. Now we're going to see what small piece of information is going to be beneficial. Okay. For, ooh, ah, for the rest of October. And what came out was exactly what we've been talking about. You've got the Ace of Cups. This is this is tuning into that abundance, that overflow, that energy of being loved, being supported, being divine, being right. You are divine within your own right. You are amazing. You are wonderful. So spirit really wants you to tune into that. Pay attention to that. Lean into that the rest of October, okay? new feelings are ready to come through a new um kind of understanding a new perspective is ready to overflow into your life tune into your intuition of course and let it in for some of you there may be a new understanding or a new um interest as well in um spirituality so if that is some of you are going to be um, really feeling called and spirit saying again, lean in, let that overflow into your life as long as it makes sense for you. Okay. There is going to be for some of you as well, a bit of an emotional awakening and, um, an upgrade in emotional intelligence coming through in the rest of October. Some of you, it's just going to be aha like that, like the snap of the fingers. Aha. I finally, I finally get it. I finally understand. It could have to do with something that you hear, something that you read again, that Neil Donald Walsh, Walsh. I hope I'm saying that right. If not, hopefully, um, you know what I'm talking about, or you can just look up conversations with God. I'm pretty sure it's Neil Donald Walsh, Donald Neil Walsh, no Neil Donald Walsh. Um, anyway, it, it could be something within that, but there is an, um, a pull or a nudge or a, a feeling towards um, spiritual energy coming through and also that energy of kind of an emotional awakening or um, leveling up as far as emotional intelligence. It's an aha. It's a breakthrough coming through. Spirit really wants you to focus on that, but also that overflow, that abundance, that energy of, you know what, um, I understand or I'm getting this or it's coming through or uh, instead of why isn't this working or it's their fault or that kind of energy and also within that surrendering to prayer. That's what spirit wants you to focus on. Okay. Now, oh, the next one you have here, I think spirit had us do, 
I don't know. It's been a little different within this. Like we did the middle here. I, I don't even, this one, I'm not even sure was at the top one. And then we shuffled here and then, I don't know. Spirit's having <laughs> just different things come through for each different section. Uh, that was way too many cards. Oh, there we go. All right. Also, Spirit wants you to pay attention here. This is coming through again to your relationships. Relationships are just mirror images of your own life, okay? How you feel and treat yourself as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. So you have a lot of growth. You have a lot of understanding, right? If we go back to your higher calling here, the lion... And you look, it looks like you have the male and the female. That's your relationships, right? And here it says, let go of the past and reclaim your majesty. You will find success and contentment with those by your side. Okay. So there's either going to be a big shift <clears throat> in a relationship that is going to um, bring about an energy of more contentment. <clears throat> here in the rest of October and or there's a relationship coming in it it doesn't have to be romantic um, it can be a new friend it can be a new um, um, uh, co-worker it, however this comes through but there's a new relationship coming in here in the rest of October Aquarius something that potentially you have been praying for okay um, that is going to bring that energy of overflow and abundance you are going to feel so fulfilled so content uh, and there's there's, there's an uplifting coming through with it. Also, it does raise um, kind of your understanding, your aha, your awareness of how you show up, okay? It's almost as if, and, and we are amazing, right? Um, but it's almost as if this person or this relationship uh, begs you or wants you to um, show up in a better light. It's, it's like you understand or you see you have that emotional awakening, that understanding where it, it raises you up. You're like, you know what? I want to be better for this relationship with this person, for this person, for myself showing up within this relationship or, or partnership or whatever it is with this person. Um, it, and again, it does not have to be romantic, uh, Aquarius, but it could also be your relationship with spirit, divine, right? And, or your relationship with yourself. You are in the space and understanding, seeing that aha, that breakthrough again, of course, that up leveling, right? Um, how you can um, support yourself and others, okay? Again, be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth, okay? So there are, and, and if we look here, there's several different versions of that coming through or coming in. Okay. This could also be you showing up in several different versions as well, but this is beautiful energy coming through here, Aquarius. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and see last card here is, um, the energy ooh, or two last cards here, uh, the energy, the number and, or the energy that is coming through. Okay. You have number 20. I am harmonious. You see, that is what, that is what has been coming through that harmonious, that content, that success, that peaceful energy. We've talked about it throughout this. So number 20, 2020 keeps coming through here um, where that wasn't. And, and like, if we think back to the year 2020, things were in our uproar, but now pay attention to the way the energy is now. There's things going on. There always, always will be a bit of chaos or a bit of wild energy coming through Aquarius, but that doesn't mean that our life always has to be that way. There is this energy of harmony harmony of harmony of peace of of contentment that is coming in here in the the rest of October that is going to it's almost as if you are beginning to see or beginning to understand again that spiritual energy coming in or that pull towards that a new understanding a shift a new perspective and uh, that overfall flow energy that abundant energy it's it's it's, it's like your eyes are beginning to open your awakening um, and you're emotionally up up leveling as well that is bringing all of this into this beautiful beautiful almost um new you right the the different uh phases coming through here okay it's almost like this new you is being born here okay it says you relate to others on an almost cosmic level do you see we've been talking about leveling up cosmic level you are dedicated to building harmonious relationships you see all of this relationships relationships relationships. Okay. All right. You see, you see, I can't make it up. 
It says, uh, um, you are dedicated to building harmonious relationships of all kinds. You have the ability to persuade others to your point of view by using gentle means. Now, this is not in a malicious way. This is in a loving way, um, a supportive way, an uplifting way. Okay. Uh, but you do, you have this energy, Aquarius, this energy that just pulls, draws people to you. And for some of you, you might be like, no, that's not true. I repel people or what have you, but there's a shift. There's a shift. There's an aha, there's an awakening in, in this um, rest of October moving forward, Aquarius, that uh, people are going to begin to see you in a different light because you are seeing things differently, okay? So remember, 2020, I am harmony. Oh, it's not 2020, it's just 20, but that 2020 keeps coming through because this feels like um, it is an opposite, okay? And opposite. Now you also have 26. It says, I am tactful. You have a desire to succeed. Okay. We talked about that and will feel most accomplished when your work benefits others again. Okay. Your intuitive awareness of what we talked about intuition right over here of what, um, of what people want allows you to come up with innovative solutions to meet others needs. I am tactful. You see, all of this is about, uh, connection relationship and um that energy of you kind of coming through being reborn being new aquarius and people seeing you different and or you seeing things different okay um this this if we started here and here we are at the end card still that same message coming through so there's a lot of shifting a lot of change um, coming through for you here within the rest of October, of Christ, with regards to relationship, not only your relationship with others, but your relationship with spirit and with yourself. And it looks good on you. Okay. And people are noticing that people are seeing that it's all eyes on you here, of course, but it's because you are having that aha, that breakthrough, that awakening kind of energy and beginning to see, understand, um, things in a new light. Okay. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I do intend this resonated with you and for you. If it did, please do hit the like button and share this video. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. Also, feel free to hit the subscribe button right down below and the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload new readings. It is free for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and it does support the Lucky Stars community in growing and thriving. As always, I do wish you lots of hope, lots of joy, lots and lots of love with all of your current and future endeavors. I'll see you in the next reading.